promise. <laughs> Behaving, you guys are being mean. It's me. Hello, internet. Hi, hey guys. Hello. All right, let's do this thing. We're doing some signing. We're, we got some prints. We're gonna sign them. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna move this light again because I feel like there's a better place for this. There we go. Jenny is a goddamn disaster. Because it should be. There we go. Ha! Hi, Internet. I recently subscribed to your YouTube channel. Thank you. I appreciate you. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider doing so. It is free and it helps me a lot. It's Koi Dao, obviously. Actually, that's true. <laughs> actually, that's, that's correct, actually. Hello, it's me, Koi Dao. Um, something, 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 but something, 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 cats. Something, 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 a star in Baldur's Gate 3. That's not fair, though, because, like, the thing is that, like, me and Koi are both obsessed with the star from Baldur's Gate 3, so that's the issue there. Alright, we're gonna get started and we're gonna do the thing! Yay! Ah! Oh god! Honestly, like, someday, the probability of me getting it together and doing a stream where everything is just, like, professional and cool and normal, the probability is that eventually it's bound to happen. Today is not that day, however. <laughs> it's me, it's, yeah, it's Jenny. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Yeah. I was just li literally listening to that song in the car with my mom and I was explaining to her, I'm like, why the lyrics are important and why it's cool and like why it's great. Yeah, just basically ranting about Taylor Swift to my mother, and she was very patient. She was like, that's nice, honey. I'm like, thanks, Mom. All right. We are getting started. We're gonna do this thing. Did I enjoy Chris Mayick interviewing you? Yes, it was very nice. He's a very sweet guy. Have you watched the Genshin 4.1 special program? I have not. Wait, people do this professionally? <laughs> people do. I, I certainly don't. <laughs> Lily does it professionally. She knows what she's doing. I, I, I'm not Lily though. <laughs> How are you guys? How's everybody doing? My marker is misbehaving right now, so I'm just gonna try and start it real quick. Um, but in the meantime, uh, <laughs> you haven't streamed in two months. I have not. Let's not. 
let's play a fun game where we don't talk about when the last time Jenny uploaded was. Let's play that game. I think that would be fun for the whole family. <laughs> I think that will be fun for everybody if we play that game together and let's pretend that I'm sticking to a consistent upload schedule like a good little bean. Wait, which prints are these? They are prints that you can get at streamly.com slash Jenny of the Glory. It is not too late to get your prints. I'm doing all right. Just got home from work. Are you going to be in Utah this 21st? It's a uh, fan expo of Salt Lake. I am not going to be a fan expo. I would love to go one day. And you can actually help with that. If you request me to fan expo Salt Lake, yeah, I might be able to go. But as of right now, I cannot go. Excited to come to Melbourne? Yes, I'm very excited to get to Melbourne. Uh, me and one of my favorite people in the world, Eric E. here, are going to be there together, and I'm so excited. We don't talk about those content droughts, those going to the wrong peeps, exactly. We'll just play it cool, okay? I had stuff and things going on in my life. I have, I, I have legitimately good reasons for not upgrading recently. You know what? Those are for me to know. Oh, I see Starlight Shiver. You have a black lemonade cookie uh, profile picture. Very nice. Wait, you're coming to Australia? When? I'm coming next month. I'm going to be there from the, I believe, the 3rd to the 13th. I'm going to be in Melbourne, which I'm very, very excited for. With summer ending, does that mean you might have time for more streams? You know, I wish I could answer that question, but quite frankly, I don't really know myself. I'm going to try and stream more, however. That is something I am trying to do. I'm going to be visiting L.A. sometime next month. Congratulations. Oh, music is a little bit louder than me. Not anymore. It's not. Take that, music. You, Music, actually. It's very nice music. I should be doing music. Jenny, guess what I got? Are you ever just like, wow, my brain is incorrect? Because, like, the first thing that you said is, like, Jenny, guess what I got? And my brain went an infection. And that can't be correct, because I don't know why you would want to tell me about that. I hope that's not the case. I hope you're very healthy. I'm sorry I'm this way. All right. Misa, this is for you. Misa Ahmad. Is the music better now, guys? Please say yes, please. October 6th through 8th, yes, those are the days of PAX, but I'm going to be there in the country and in Melbourne for a little bit longer than that because this is my first time in Australia, so I want to make the most of my time there. All right. Oh my god, Marker, I am begging you to be cool right now. Jenny in denial. Can't believe London has an infection. Yes, yeah, I. Okay, how about now? Testing, testing, testing. How is the music now? Ah! One day, one day, I'll be a good little streamer girl. Someday I'll know what the hell I'm doing at any given moment. Oh god. Oh my god. Why is this marker like this? Perfect right now. This is great. Yay. Hooray. <laughs> An hour after the start time, I finally have my stream ready. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, internet. I'm sorry, you guys. Streaming is hard, especially when your brain's made of beans. And there ain't nothing up there but marbles. Would you like to stream a Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge in the future? That would be really fun, but I don't think I can legally. 
since I do occasionally work for the Pokemon company, so I don't think I would, would, I think it might be a conflict of interest. But it would have been very fun. I have done a Nuzlocke run in the past, and it only took me like one gym until my first Pokemon died and then I was too sad and couldn't deal with the fact that it would be technically be like dead and so then I quit the Nuzlocke challenge and just played it normal. I get too attached to my Pokemon. I like watching my friends do Nuzlocke challenges though. Um, my friend Sophia, she's a VTuber and I saw her do a Nuzlocke challenge one time and that was really fun. Um, Alright. Sometimes I won't read out the messages that I'm signing just because um, they're gifts and so I want to not blow the cover <laughs> of the person. Did you enjoy working as Wanda in the One Piece stuff? I really did. I love Wanda a lot. And it's such an honor to be a part of like the One Piece world in general. So getting to be Wanda is just like the honor of a lifetime, honestly. All right. This print is present, so I'm not going to show it on camera. But uh, 304, your thing is done. Ah, ba -da -da -da. How are you guys? Hopefully you're less panicked than I am at any given moment during literally any day. I did something fun last night. I went to go see a sketch comedy show with my friend Marissa. That was a blast. And then it was especially cool because one of my favorite sketch comedy groups, uh, Britannic, was like a special like guest. And so that was super, super cool. So I got to see some of their stuff that I had never seen before. And it was my first time seeing them live. Yeah, if you guys don't know, it's made up these two guys named Brian and Nick. They're both hysterical. And yeah, look it up. It's B-R-I-T-A-N-I-C-K, I believe it's spelled. They're really, really funny. Yeah, I saw a sketch comedy group called Sasquatch. It was great. It's been a year since you met Anne Yakko. That's awesome. I love Anne. She's an angel. Have you guys seen Anne's appearances on People vs. Food? Because that is something I'm very jealous that she's gotten to do. I really want to be on People vs. Food because I love that channel. Yeah, if you're in LA, go see Sasquatch. They're doing another show um, December 11th, they said there might their next one might be. It's uh, a bunch of really cool people, two of which are uh, Danny Jollis from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, and then also uh, Jack Quaid, who I met doing a convention, and he's a really sweet guy, really cool guy. It was hysterical. Oh gosh, this is always the hardest part is that, like, I'm trying so hard not to mess up. And then, like, I get quiet and I'm like, no, you can't get quiet! You're streaming! The people demand entertainment! You're supposed to dance, monkey! And I'm like, oh no! Shout out to Jack Quaid as Superman, yeah! Shout out to Jack Quaid as Superman, indeed! 
Jack's had a crazy year. Jack, uh, oh wait, I can't actually, but he's played like two different superheroes that are like very big and prominent this year. And so like, he's, yeah, good for him. He's a really sweet guy too, so he deserves like all that success. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Wah! Anna's really sweet. I wanted to go to Conquest, but backed off in the final minute. Turns out two days and three days, two and three was a flop. Eee! I wouldn't know anything about that. Um, I was in the Netherlands on vacation at that time. Um, you met Lisa Ortiz the same day you met, and Lisa's a sweetheart too. Are you doing the tour posters this stream too? Yes, as long as you bought it on Streamly, then I'm going to be signing it. I'm very excited to get to those. Okay, this next one is to Nara Lilia. Fabulous. Woo! Hey, Marco! I know you! Marco used to work with me at Disneyland. I don't know where, what you're doing these days, but thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Okay. This one doesn't have any instructions, so I'm just gonna say to Nar Lilia and then put my signature. Ooh, 1989 or Fearless 1989. 1989 for sure. I love Fearless. It has a very special place in my heart, but 1989 was like my like the album of like my teenage years and so it has a very special place in my heart and so I'm very very excited um for Taylor's version to come out me and some of my friends are gonna have like a little shindig and listen to it together that's actually something I can talk with the SAG strike going on if anyone wants to ask me any questions about Taylor's Ask me any questions about Taylor Swift, please do, because I have a lot to say, because I adore her. I think she's great. <laughs> um, already met Anne, gave her some snacks or sweets. That's very nice of you. Are you enjoying Master Detective Archives Raincoat? I actually haven't gotten a chance to play it yet because I've been so consumed and obsessed with Baldur's Gate 3. And oops because i really need to because i really want to play the game especially because like it, I, i'm obsessed with danganronpa and also i'm in uh master detective archives rank code for those of you who don't know i still need to play it Narlilia, here is your print which by the way check these prints out like like you guys look how pretty these are they're so cute Jenny, I respect you even more. My cousin got tickets to the Eras Tour, and I was so jealous. I got to go to the Eras Tour, and I'm so glad I did. It was such a good night. That night was so great. I... <laughs> My niece was very jealous, though. My niece recently became a Swifty, which is very exciting for me, because now I know what to get her for presents and things like that. Um... But... She was so jealous and she was like, you have to send me videos. And so the entire time I was like videoing it. I was like, this one's for Mika. I have to, I have to get videos for Mika. And I got her uh, some merch as well, which felt like a war zone getting the merch, but I got it because I'm a good aunt. Um, ooh, which Duncan Rumpa game is your fave? Ugh. It's either one or two, I think, because one is like, I mean, it's the classic one and it's where you like, the characters are so interesting and I love like the twist that happens, but two, like, uh, it's such a good cast of characters too. I, I honestly can't pick. Keith was such a nice guy. Yeah, Keith is an extremely nice person. Keith Silverstein is an angel person. Make it out to Yoali. I think that's how you pronounce that name. If I pronounced it incorrectly and you are in the chat, please feel free to correct me. And I apologize in advance because I have a feeling I did not pronounce that correctly. 
Taylor Swift Nation, rise up. Exactly, true. Swifties are a powerful people. Um, Yoali says, I love your voice is my fave. You and Mia, heart. Can you please write? Fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. I absolutely can write that for you. The other thing that's hard for me during signing is that I have to tell my little ADHD brain and my anxiety brain to slow down and that I don't need to write super fast because my anxiety is telling tells me it's like you're wasting the time you need to sign faster but then like my ADHD brain is also like I want to get this done so I can like sign the next person because I don't want to make people wait but then I'm like no the person's like paid for this you, like make it look really good you can take your time with it it's okay and that's something that like I have to I kind of struggle with um, do you collect anime Blu-rays? Not really. Um, I live in Los Angeles, and so I don't have a ton of room for things, and so it's hard for me to, like, collect a lot of things. Um, even my Snorlax collection, which is immense, has kind of had to take a backseat, and I don't buy as many Snorlax things these days just because, like, I, I don't have the space. And I was paying for a storage unit out here for a while, but then I ended up giving it up because of the strike. I didn't have the expendable income anymore. Um, but also because I couldn't find the time to actually drive over and take my stuff over there, which I felt weird. Can you please say the line? Fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. <laughs> there you go. Do you guys think I sound like you, Mia, with like my natural speaking voice? Because I honestly really don't think I do. <laughs> Also, just like a special shout out to anyone else in chat who suffers with anxiety, like me, because anxiety is no fun. It's not great. Today I was hanging out with my mom before I drove her to the airport, which is which is why the stream is kind of late. Um, and I started having a panic attack, and it was really frustrating for me because I'm like I'm in no immediate danger, but something just kind of like set me off, and it was enough for me to like get start getting nervous and not being able to breathe. And so it wasn't a good time, but I managed to like talk myself down because I've been working on that with my therapist and my psychiatrist. But yeah, shout out to anyone who's also uh, going through anxiety and mental illnesses right now because it's hard, but we're getting through it, you guys. All right, yo Ali, da 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 da, ba da da da. Okay, next up is Marcus. <laughs> okay, also real quick, sorry guys, you're gonna see me use my phone real fast because I forgot to announce on Instagram that I'm live and I should probably do that. Oh gosh. Ah. Okay. Also, I would just like to say that I think my thumbnail is very cute. I had to whip that up in like five minutes on Photoshop, um, but it looks very cute and I'm very grateful to my friend Jen Yang who um, made the little Jenny PNG, the little chibi Jenny. Shout out to um, Mr. Striped Pants on Twitter. I adore her. Here, wait, you guys are going to see me do the promo real quick. Okay, ready? Hi, I'm live on my YouTube channel, so go ahead and click on the link and I'll see you there. Chat's already saying hello. Hi. Come watch me sign things. Bye. <laughs> so go ahead and click on the link. And there. Okie doke. We did it. We did it. Wow. <laughs> OMG, we are here! You're so right! You guys are here! Heck yeah! Alright. Okay, the next one's a Xia Yi print, so... I gotta get up again! I'll be right back! I'll be right back!
Ta-da! Yay, Honkai Star Rail! We did it, guys! <laughs> First step to being here is being here. Great job, you guys. You all did it. You all did a really great job. I'm proud of the group effort here. Okay, this one's to Marcus. Are we all here together or is this really a simulation? We can't go down this road right now. We can't do that right now. We're not doing this. Uh, Starlight Silver? Up? Uh, sure, yeah. You can, you can, uh, you can tell me something. Go, go for it. I believe in you. Let's see. Also, um, Tr Trevor Copus, you ordered, so anyone who might have ordered the gold foil prints, those are actually out of stock. There was a I forgot to mark them as such on Streamily before they started selling them. And so they are on their way. So I'll do a second signing soon with just the gold foil prints, but they're on their way. I promise. They're they're coming. They're real. Okay. Okay. Another story I gave me a Here we go. Ah. Okay. I was sent her to two stars so far, working my way up to five. Gotta do it for the best. Oh, cute. Awesome. The fact that I dropped out of college because I have epilepsy on a coma so soon on summer vacation. Oh, I'm sorry. That really That's really hard. I had to drop out of college, too. Are we real? Taco, you gotta stop. You gotta, you gotta stop. We cannot do this. I already had one panic attack today, and that is, that's the limit I'm setting for today. I've had multiple panic attacks in one day before in fact several times and i gotta tell you i don't feel like doing it today we can't get existential gang we simply cannot okay Boo -doo -doo -boo -boo -boo. The stream is real. <laughs> I am any I am nothing if not always completely myself. Aggressively authentic, whether you like it or not. Okay, we got another Shia Yi. Something that was very interesting. Um, there was a very nice man who came up to me during uh, Anime Impulse. And he asked me point blank, he's like, Oh, is that Trey? And I'm like, uh, I don't voice any characters named Trey. Sorry, who is Trey? And he's like, Trey, Trey. And I'm like, uh, who? And he's like, he pointed towards my print. And he's like, that's Trey from Honkai Star Rail. And I'm like, do you mean Xia Yi? He's like, Xia Yi? And he's like, Trey. And I'm like, that's not quite it but you really do got the spirit. He's got the spirit and I appreciate that about him. Good luck reading the isekai. Absolutely. Good luck. Trey. Yeah, Trey. <laughs> there was another very sweet girl who pronounced it Sui and I'm like, that's closer. And I can see it's Xia Yi. And like, we don't really have those sounds in English so it makes sense. Um, but yeah, interesting. <laughs> Trey. I voiced Trey from Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> Whenever I hear the name Trey, I always think of the Californians, that sketch from SNL. It's like, Trey! Trey! Let's see, I've got a friend who triple crowned Yoimiya. She's a big Yoimiya fan, and we were both full of emotions when we finished Yoimiya's second story quest. Thank you for being an amazing VA. You're so welcome. That's so sweet of you. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. Another one. DJ Khaled. 
gotta make sure I'm writing the numbers on the back of them because otherwise I will forget. Okie dokie. Coming up next, we have Starlight. We have your print. I will be right back. I have to go grab it. Uh. Quality entertainment, 10 out of 10, yeah. Also, are you guys liking my hair? All the all the flyaways and the frizzies that it's got right now? Is this is this cool? Is this good content? <laughs> it's like, come on, work with me in your hair. There we go. It's, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. I make these faces on the internet, and then I'm like, why am I single? And then I rewatch the videos and I see my dumb faces on the internet. I'm like, that would explain why I'm single. Pew! Okay, two starlights. I'm gonna say shout out to my number one fan. There we go. Ta -da! Ba -da -da -da! I love these prints, they're so pretty. The same artist who uh, made this print also made the little chibi Jenny in my thumbnail. That's my friend Jen, and I love her. You should all go follow her, at Mr. Striped Pants on Twitter. I think it's just at Striped Pants on Instagram. She's one of my favorite artists, and her stuff is super, super cool. Oh god, I gotta get up again. Okay. Okay. I should just bring the I should just bring the file folder over here. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. You know why? It's because I'm a fool. I'm a fool, internet. I'm a fool. Okay. I'm acting like I'm all out of breath. It was literally two steps away. I am out of shape, but I'm not that out of shape. She lied. <laughs> well, well, Twitter still stands. Yeah. Yeah. I feel a lot like this guy playing your violins on the Titanic whenever I log onto that website these days. Jenny is gone again. I can't do this anymore. Yes, I'm sorry if I'm triggering anyone with abandonment issues. Like me. Okay, this one is going out to Keela. You watched the episode of Subby's podcast? Nice! Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I was on an episode, if you guys uh, watch Subby Plays, I was on an episode of her podcast, Subby Talks, and we had a really great time. I love Subby. She's a friend of mine, so it was just really easy to be on that podcast because it was just like being friends and talking to each other and catching up. It was great. <laughs> Okay. Kila wants these two quotes. The first one is, let's fly like fluffy clouds for cinema roll. And she also wants, Corrosive the world for a <laughs>
I got a pair of uh, Kuromi sunglasses today, which I'm very excited about. They're very cute. I love how many of the Genshin voice actors inter interact with the community. Absolutely, yeah, I love- <laughs> we love the community. I love interacting with you guys. It's always like one of the best parts of my day, every day. Let's see. Um, Aster, I don't know what- uh, in regards to what. Can you uh, send, send another thing? Yeah. Ta -da! Ta -da -da -da! Okay, there's that one. Another one sorted. Okay, next one is one of my little like woodblock Okami style prints, which are like, another one of my favorites. Ah, where is it? I don't know whenever I'm panicked. I don't know why I need to go into a Kermit B Frog voice. Which is because I feel like Kermit is now associated with Kave, and I'm not Kave. I am not Ben Balmaceda. Contrary to popular belief, I am not Ben Balmaceda. I know. Shocking. A shocker for everybody. Beans! Sorry, I was wanting to poke Russ. I can't wait to hear you as near in Grand Blue! Ah, me too! I can't wait for you guys to hear me as near. Um, honestly, my work as near, I think, is some of the my favorite work of my own that I've ever done. I feel really proud of it, and I, like, did a lot of acting acting, which felt very cool. It's Ben Bomaseda from the hit game, Genshin Impact. Yes, if- can you clip on YouTube? Is that a thing? You just be like- here, clip this. Hi, it's me. Famous voice actor Ben Balmaceda. Hi, internet. Kave quote. There we go, perfect. That's for all you Kave stands. <laughs> It's nearly your best work. You don't get to say it until you heard it. You gotta heard it first. Then you can make your decision in your puns. If you guys have ever wondered, has Jenny ever been just like a normal, cool person? The answer is no. I have always been like this. And I feel like that's not surprising to anyone. This is not a fun little act that I put on. This is just the chemicals that are wrong in my brain coming to the surface and showing their stuff and working it. Slay. Oh damn, my favorite Kave quote. Yes, Kave quote. Everyone's favorite Kave quote is Kave quote. I'll be right back.
beans on toast. Too late, I'm panicking. No! <laughs> sometimes I can still hear sometimes I can still hear her voice. Stop telling people I'm dead! Oh, beans on toast, okay. Looks like I am also out of that print. Oh, beans on toast. Here, wait one second, you guys. I need to do a quick little errand. Oh my gosh, what is my hair doing? Why is my hair like this? I've been having some really, really good hair days recently. But of course, the day that I have to live stream, it's not one of those things. It's not going to be. How are you guys doing in the meantime while I order these prints before I forget? Because I have severe ADHD and otherwise I absolutely will forget. Because I'm a little too <laughs> I hope you're all doing very well. I also hope that none of my British friends saw me post, just, oh, saw me post, are listening to my bad British accent right now, because otherwise, I will be murdered. I just assume those are the consequences. That is, like, something I legitimately worry about, is that once in a while I have to do, like, a spur-of-the-moment British accent, and it's not good. And the thing is, is that I can do a good British accent, but... <laughs> When I'm just doing it off the cuff, it isn't. <laughs> it's not good, and I feel <laughs> like panicked. I'm like, no, I swear, I can do it. I promise, I can do it. And they're like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever you say. And I was like, oh no. What is this song? <laughs> what is this very hyper song? <laughs> I'm like, wow, okay. Really feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Oh my gosh, the song is very just- it's awake. It's awake! The song is more awake than I've ever been in my entire life. For those of you who don't know, I am what they call, in the science world, narcoleptic. Which basically means me seepy. Me seepy all the time always. Even when I take big seep, still seepy. Very eepy girl. The missile is eepy. Have you guys seen that TikTok, or am I just making a very obscure reference? Damien Haas sent me this TikTok, and it's just like a picture. It's no, it's just like these like videos of like this very very large cat, and the audio just goes, "The missile is eepy. He is eepy after a big day of splashing bandits," <laughs> and it's just talking about this very big cat, and I love that TikTok, and I reference it constantly, and no one ever <laughs> knows what I'm talking about, and they all just kind of like look at me. With like blank stares and I'm like I promise it's a real TikTok. I'm not just insane I mean I also am that but other other things too I promise <laughs> please believe me and they're like yes Jenny we've all seen the TikTok we believe you you are so totally very sane I'm like eh. when you say it like that it sounds like you're being sarcastic Damien Haas, yeah. <laughs> Jenny needs a small sleep, yes. <laughs> Who is an insane TBH? Very fair, yeah. The missile is EP. Uh oh, she EP. <laughs> Tired after a big day of splashing bandits. <laughs> he also, like, Damien also did that same uh, 
TikTok, that same audio, but with his cat. Um, Zelda, I believe, is the bigger one, and uh, it, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I love his cat Zelda. She's just real big. She's just real big girl, and I appreciate her very much so. You ever just look at how much something is gonna cost and you just kind of like immediately get sad because that's what just happened to me I just saw that like I'm like oh crap I don't have enough prints and I have am I, I'm leaving for Canada for Atlanticon on Wednesday and so I'm like I got better rush these and I looked at how much it's gonna cost to rush these and I'm like hmm. <laughs> goodbye money I'll miss you very much okay this next one is this one this one is this one. Everyone knows that this one's this one? Okay, great. Something that's very scary to me, honestly, is that... <laughs> is that the thing about me is that someday I want to have children. And I know that when I have children, I'm still gonna act like this. And they're just gonna have to watch me and they're gonna be like, Wow, my mom's insane. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. All right, this one's to Ryan and Terry. I'm gonna go with, here come the fireworks. Did that blow up the audio? I feel like it probably did. It felt very loud. <laughs> Michael- oh, Ryan and Terry. For some reason I thought I said Michael and Terry. I did write the correct name though, so that's good. But I knew, I knew a guy whose name was Justin Michael Terry. He had three first names. <laughs> so many. Some people don't even have one. You should really donate one to science. Bastard. All right. That one is sorted. kind of like bop into the music now. I'm like, wow. Okay. <laughs> Jenny's the kind of mom to get a sugar rush with her child and be absolute witnesses to society. You are correct. Yes, that is absolutely going to happen. Oh, God bless my poor husband, whoever he is one day. It's gonna, first of all, it's going to take a lot of courage to marry me. <laughs> because it's just going to be a lot of ADHD. Um, and also, yeah, to want to procreate with me, it's going to be, like, just two of me. <laughs> Very excited. Unless, hopefully, God willing, our kid gets his genetics and is like ends up being calm and normal, and I'm just like, ah! all the time still. All right, this one's to Amelia. <laughs> To Amelia. No real special instructions, so I'm just gonna say my, my, my little name. My, just my tiny little name. Do a little signature right there. I know how to do that. Smart little girl. Wow, my goodness. What a clever girl, knowing how to spell her own name. <laughs> At the ripe young age of 26. Brave girl. Brave bold girl. <laughs> Met you at Anime Impulse two weeks ago. It was an honor meeting you. I swear I'm getting the Among Us animation done. I'm busy with college shenanigans. Oh, oh hey, yeah. Th um, for those of you who don't know, Macabre Void in chat makes awesome uh, like 3D model animations. They're hysterical. They're really, really funny. So go check those out. Ta-da! Another magical girl. Yay. Yay. Oh. 
Okay, okay. Next one. It is time for the next one. Okay, okay. okay. This one is for Ryan. Bold of you to, to assume the dad won't be this feral. Won't be as feral with the child being the same one. You know what? Fair. Very fair. I don't know, like, I've been, like, doing a lot of thinking lately, and I don't... <laughs> like... For those of you who do not know, I am a single girl. And I've been, like, doing the, like, you know, single girl thing in LA and, like, going on dates and things like that. And I've been doing some thinking about, like, what kind of guy would be good for me. And I genuinely don't know... <laughs> I've kind of come to the conclusion with uh, one of my friends, Sarah, that like a golden retriever type guy who's like really happy and like jovial and like just sort of like affable would be a good match for me because I can tend like sometimes despite like being very hyper, I am still like a kind of a serious person. So I'm kind of like a black cat type personality. So I kind of need like the golden retriever type personality. Um, so like a happy guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I could see myself honestly ending up with a guy who's way calmer than me, or a guy who's just as feral as me. <laughs> which, in, in which case, oh boy. Um, I'll be interested to see what kind of guy I end up with one day. To Ryan. Oh. Ryan says, thank you for breathing so much life into our adorable, wise, red Nara, who never fails to make me smile for the coat. Just like Ironworks. Okay. Did the quote, did my name, and I do a little goldfish. Do a little goldfish. If Jenny meets another feral lad, it'll be over for us. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. Because <laughs> Kaylee's husband, uh, Kaylee Mills, who's one of my best friends, her husband is like a very sweet, very calm guy. And so he kind of like balances her out. And so it, then it's an issue when me and Kaylee get together, because then both of us are just absolutely feral. <laughs> and we were at um, a restaurant the other day and we got like these little plastic knives and we ended up just like playing with the knives and like doing like the little like hand thing and <laughs> Kaylee's poor husband had to be like stop both of you you need to stop stop playing with the knives and we're like ha 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 so you know oh <sighs> bless Kevin and his infinite amounts of patience Wah! the genergy <laughs> not the genergy <laughs> Oh, I like the Genergy very much. That's great. Let's see. So, hey, Jenny, I love you so much. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. I love you too. Or will it be the beginning? I think it'll be the beginning. I like to think of like, I think the way that we perceive marriage in culture is really, really funny. Or kind of, not funny is not the right word. I would say silly. Because like, there's like the whole bachelorette and bachelor party and it's supposed to be like, oh, like the end of being single. And I don't think that's a cool way to look at it. I think of getting married as more of like the beginning of a new chapter of your life. I think it's more of like, it's a start instead of a finish. But yeah, that's that's my way of thinking it. The Genergy. Sometimes you gotta move your hands with knives. Yeah. <laughs> And then we kept like, <laughs> there were a bunch of coasters and I kept throwing them at my friend Jonah, Jonah Scott. And it was just kind of like, whenever he wasn't looking at me, I would just like frisbee it over there and he'd be like, look. And I would be like, that's so weird. I don't know what happened. That's That came out of nowhere. And he's like, he eventually figured out it was me. And I'm like, ha ha. And he like, he just looked at me. He's like, Jenny, was it you? And I just was looking at him like, yeah, 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 it was me. <laughs> Let's see. 
Tomorrow is Pumbaa's birthday. That's so cool. Happy birthday to the voice of Pumbaa. Heck yeah. Make it out to Alexis. I can do this thing. I always draw a goldfish on my Yoimiya prints. One, because it's cute, and because I sign in gold, and so it's like a fun little like play on words. And two, because it's one of the only things I know how to draw really well, and so I'm going to keep showing it off as much as humanly possible. <laughs> What you got there, Jenny? A knife! No! <laughs> Jenny jump scare. That's... I feel like that's what's gonna happen to, like, the guy I end up marrying, is that he's just gonna be, like, going about his life, and then he's just gonna get, like, jump scared by me, and I'm like, surprise, now you're in love with me. Idiot. <laughs> I have a class with Retina on Sunday. Oh, that should be really fun! Good luck with that! I'll be sure to hide any dangerous weapons when near Jenny. I'll find them anyways. You can't hide them forever. You can't hide them forever from me. Let's see. I heard a lot of jokes about it being the end. I'm like, that's not cool. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I think getting married is the start of an exciting new chapter of someone's life, not the end of anything. Silly, silly, silly. Silly, silly, silly. I think a convo with Jenny is the only time anyone can say knife to meet you and it would be completely normal to everyone involved. Correct. <laughs> or a conversation with Kaylee. I think, like, either or. Okay, this one's going out to Abby. Abby says, love your work in Genshin. You're my main DPS since day one. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, bestie. Um, could you also add fireworks are for now, but friends are forever? I can absolutely do that for you, Abby. Heck yeah, I can do that for you. A live-in best friend? Exactly! Like, getting married is cool. Like, you just, like, you get to, like, live with your favorite person and see them every single day of your life and, like, get to hang out. And it's just, like, it's the coolest. Yeah, Supreme, Brandon, you, you, know, you know what's up. You get it. Brandon's married. He is a he is a wife, and it's just like yeah, it's just like I like to think of it as like Parks and Rec. They described it. They're like, I just have a, a sexy roommate. It's great. It's awesome. I'm like yeah, I don't know. I I want to get married one day. Whatever poor soul that is. <laughs> But I am definitely not in any rush, is the thing, because, like, a couple of people from my hometown, they really rushed getting married to, like, the first person they, like, met who wanted to marry them, and they ended up kind of splitting up, and so I, yeah, I'm not in any rush. I want to make sure I only, I, I marry the right person, you know? You feel? Is this interesting to anyone else besides me? <laughs> is this cool content? <laughs> Who knows? Jenny Yokobori content creator arc. <laughs> Where she just talks about introspective stuff and then stories about her with knives. <laughs> okay. Da -da -da -da. Have you watched any anime on Toonami? Of course they have. That was like my favorite thing back in the day. <laughs> I would always watch Toonami. That's like one of my dreams is that I want to appear in Toonami. Actually, no, I did. I did do that because it was a... Uh, oh, what was it? Lupin. Lupin. I was in an episode of Lupin and it aired on Toonami. And so I got to do that. And it was really cool. It was really exciting. All Jenny content is quality content. Thank you, Aster. I appreciate that. Let's see. It's very nice to have Jenny life advice. I feel bad for whoever marries me because I'm an ADHD mess. Same bestie. We'll both find our people and they will love them. And they will love us. 
that's a wholesome look on marriage. You get to hang out with your best friend, and you also get to do the forbidden hand holding thing. Exactly, you get to hold hands like whenever you want in like the privacy of your own home, and the cops can't arrest you because you're doing it in your house, so you can just keep on holding hands. That's a fact. <laughs> it's a rock fact. How are you today? Hyper. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, another guy in the appearance. Da 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 da. Wow. Hello, I'm going to school now. Oh, OMG hand holding this turned into an R rated stream. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> Please don't tell, don't tell anyone. Don't tell the police, the YouTube police about me. <laughs> um, I just found out you have COVID. Oh no, London, I'm so sorry. Everyone, can we get some good will messages in the chat for London? I'm really sorry, that really stinks. Yeah, COVID's going around again, you guys. Be careful. Time to get those masks out. Time to get those booster shots when they come out. Take care of yourselves, gang. All right, this is to Gordon. Wow, Gordon Freeman from the hit game Half-Life wants my autograph? That's crazy! <laughs> no, don't report me to YouTube! Don't do that! Alright, Gordon wants it to say, Fireworks are for now, the friends are forever. You got it, dude. Alrighty, dighty there. We did it! Yay! I signed another thing! Yay! My mom was very cute today. Cute, but also embarrassing. Because we were walking around Little Tokyo. And I was... I usually... I don't think of myself as famous or anything like that um and I don't know really how to handle myself quite as like a pseudo celebrity quite yet um so I usually kind of like try to play like a low profile and we would go into stores and I would be like oh hey uh, do you have any like Yoimiya merch just like looking for something in case like it was something new that I hadn't seen and I'd want to buy it so I could like support a local business and my mom's like she voices her she voices Yoimiya she also voices Karomi and Cinemarole did you know that and I'm like mom you gotta stop mom you gotta stop so sweet so cute so embarrassing <laughs> So embarrassing. It was great meeting you at Papu Mai. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you so much, Henry. I appreciate that. All right. We are making good progress, honestly. Ooh, we got a diesel print. Burr, 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 burr. We got a diesel print. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> we get it, Jenny. You're so famous. <laughs> I don't get it. And it, uh, like, it, I don't think I'll ever be used to it. <laughs> because every once in a while, like, I'll, like, I remember I went back to my high school and gave a talk to some of the freshmen there. And they were like, wow, you're famous. And I'm like, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't feel famous. It's very strange. Um, that being said, if you ever see me out in public, feel free to, like, walk up and say hi. I'm always, like, really happy to meet you guys and take pictures and things like that. But I definitely will be a little bit awkward. And it's not you. It's me. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Like, there was this very, um, sweet girl at the Renaissance Fair who ran into me. And she was like, hi, are you Jenny Okabori? And I just, I didn't quite know what to say. And so I just said, oh my God, I am. <laughs> and she was like, can I take a picture with you? And I want, I almost said why. And then I'm like, no, don't say why. Don't say why. 
<laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, we can take a picture. And it's not that, like, I didn't want to do it or anything. She was so sweet and I was happy to do it. It was just like, I don't know. I'm not used to people knowing, people knowing who I am. Or, like, people will walk up to me at a convention and they'll be like, oh my god, I'm so nervous to meet you. And then I do say why. And I'm like, wait, why? I'm, I'm just an idiot. I'm just some idiot from Nevada that they let do silly voices sometimes. These prints are brand new. Jalameo, Jenny's brain had a quick time event. Yeah, that's what happens every time someone like recognizes me, recognizes me. Like it really is just sort of like press triangle, press triangle, press triangle. And then it just comes out and like, hello. And I'm like, oh, I failed it again. Darn it all to heck. Chris Gerard, here is your diesel print. Ba -da -da -da. Also, how cute are these diesel prints? They're so cute. I love them so much. This is my newest print. They're so cute. Yay, 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 yay. Hooray! Trying to exist in a dark void. So relatable. So true, bestie. So true. So true. Okay, I got another 8 by 10 Sorry, I joined Nia. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's see. Social anxiety sucks. Imposter syndrome sucks. Both are correct. Yes. Um, I am nervous everywhere I go. Also, same. Let's see. Does anyone have any questions for me while we are doing this? Oh, a <laughs> I'm not going to read out that username, but someone subscribed and I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing <laughs> to my YouTube channel. For those of you who haven't, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I promise I will post more content. I have things filmed. It's just every time I go and sit down to edit, it feels like my brain's on fire. <laughs> And I have to get up and like run around. Because you know, a digit, which is how I pronounce ADHD. A digit. <laughs> Any fave James Marsden movies? Today is his birthday. I love James Marsden. Um, I don't think I will say any of my favorite um, James Marsden movies because SAG After is on strike. And I think even like talking about a movie on strike would be considered promoting it. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut. But I'll just say that I really like his work. Um, I really enjoyed seeing the mental process when I told you who I was at Anime Impulse. Yes, it was just literally, you're like, hi. And I'm like, hi. And you're like, I'm Brandon. I'm like, that's great. And you're like, Supreme. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> let's see. Um, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -ba. There was a thing. Where did it go? Someone was asking. How's it? What's it feel to voice multiple characters on that one show? It's the best. It's the coolest thing in the world. And I'm really grateful that my bosses like me and are nice enough to keep bringing me back and help me pay for my cat's college tuition. Yay. Ding. How is it voice acting? How is it voicing and acting versus meeting people? Do you think acting can help interacting with others? Yes, it. I I believe it can. Um, I honestly think like it's just a lot about getting in touch with your feelings and learning how to be your most authentic self. And acting can kind of help with that process, especially like acting school. And so for me, it's helped a lot. It's helped a lot with learning how to socialize with people. That being said, voice acting, you just have to stand by yourself in a tiny little booth. But talking to real people requires you talking to real people. So that is a little bit different. So that you understand my meaning. Do 
Jenny, I went to Comic-Con Edmonton and it was amazing. I'm so jealous. I want to go to Comic-Con Edmonton so bad. One of my best friends lives, lives in Edmonton, Alberta. And I want to go and I want to see her. And I want to also just see her hometown. So I'm, I'm very jealous. I'm glad that you had fun, though. The way I said that made it sound very passive aggressive. I'm like, well, I'm glad you had fun. But, like, I really am very genuinely glad that you had fun. I'm glad you had a great day. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Engulfing lightning, right in signature weapon. Signature weapon. Oh, that's so cool! That's awesome! Let's see. Will you stream on Twitch too? You made my life so much better, and I'm not exaggerating at all. That's so sweet. Um, I only stream on YouTube these days, but keep on coming to YouTube, and I'm gonna keep on streaming things like that. Yeah. Um, because I don't know, I just, I just prefer YouTube as a streaming platform. Um, Let's see. Um, Jenny, how are you? It's Juan from Connecticon. Hi. What's your favorite guilty pleasure food? Ooh, I may or may not bring it to you at a con. Ooh. So here's here's my thinking. So I don't... I'm trying to kind of like move away from thinking of food in terms of morality. Um, to be very, very candid, I suffered with like um, having, you know, problems with eating and body image issues and things like that and so I think assigning morality to food is kind of like a dangerous slippery slope especially since I know that I have younger fans I never want any of you guys to think that food is an evil or a malicious thing that like you're not allowed to have um so I don't I wouldn't say it's a guilty pleasure food but like a food that I occasionally indulge in is hmm maybe like gummy bears I love gummy bears very much so they are very addicting. <laughs> um, I also appreciate the fact that um, they make multivitamins and other supplements that are gummies because it makes me feel like a healthy little girl, even though I'm getting my sweet little gummy treat. Oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Nope. You black scythe, you have nothing to apologize for. You didn't know. There's no way you should. There's no way you could have or should have known. I'm just like telling you guys for future reference, like just always think of food as like it's something that's going to help fuel you. Because that is something that's helped me move away from sort of like the struggles with food that I've had in the past. Counterpoint. Gummy sharks. Touche. But gummy bears are a bunch of different pretty little colors. And my silly little brain likes pretty little colors. Veronica Taylor was at Supernova this year. Oh, Veronica. She's great. She's really nice. To Scott. I randomly ran into Veronica at a Comic-Con party. And I was there completely by myself. And all of a sudden it was like that moment from it's always sunny in philadelphia where like i just like look across the room and she looked across the room and we just like made eye contact and we're like and i'm like i know you and she was like i know you and i'm like hi ronica <laughs> like what are the odds Okay, there we go. Do a little signy time. Just a silly little signing. Just a silly little signing, you know. You know how it is. I get on here with my face and my markers and my prints, and I just do a silly little signing, you know? That's just kind of how it goes sometimes, gang. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes words just come out of my face, and I don't know what they really mean or where I'm going with it. I just kind of pray that it all makes sense together eventually you know does anyone have any other questions for me i just realized the music has stopped why is the music stopped why is the music stopped don't like that do it again do it again music i remember you saying in the phasmophobia that you wanted to be a va cookie run how does it feel it feels like the best oh my god i love cookie run so much i love cookie run so much and i've loved cookie run for so many years and so getting to actually like be a part of that universe and having my own little cookie is the coolest feeling ever it's freaking great oh my gosh i love cookie run so much and it's so exciting <laughs> i don't think i'll ever get over the thrill of it how do you sign if you only have a face marker and print you know, sometimes I also have hands. Like, I don't tell you guys everything. 
I never told you guys this, but I have hands. Like two of them, in fact, so. I don't wanna brag! I don't wanna brag, but I grew them myself. My mom helped, I think. Do it again. <laughs> Um, gummy soda is my- ooh, gummy soda is really good. Like, just like cola, that's awesome. Um, had to wait a really long time to meet him, but it was worth it. Oh. Um, are you at any cons in the US? I should look for you at a friend of mine and I are looking to travel at a big con in another state. Not yet, nothing is official yet. I'm going to be doing a signing most likely later in October in Burbank, but can't announce it yet. But yes, I love how engaged you are with your community. That's what makes an amazing VA. Thank you so much, London. Well, I mean, like, honestly, it's really easy because you guys are all so sweet and wonderful. So it's really easy to talk to you guys and want to engage with you because it's something I do genuinely want to do because you guys are hysterical and really fun. <laughs> you guys are really funny, too. So it's great. I said a couple synonyms in there. Let's just ignore that. Hands? Two of them? That is insane. I know. I'm the one who made the sketch of pickles at Rhode Island Anime Con. Yes! Oh my gosh, I loved that sketch so much. Please post it on Twitter if you haven't already. How do I request you to have you at a con? So if you go to a convention's website, they usually have like request a guest or like frequently asked questions or like contact us. If you do the contact thing and be like, hey, I'd like to request Jenny Okabori at this convention. That helps a lot. Jenny, did you find new friends after that Among Us stream? Yes, and I'm gonna make a YouTube video about it at some point going through the answers and I'm very excited about it. So look forward to that, you guys. It'll happen eventually, I promise. Ah. Fireworks are for now. But friends? No, those are for now. <laughs> I am singing a song that's completely different from the one that is actually playing right now, so. <laughs> Oops. Alright, I'm gonna request you at ChromaCon in Baltimore next March. That would be great! I would really appreciate that. I've actually always wanted to go to Baltimore. One of my best friends went to college out there, and so I want to see all the, what all the fuss is about, and also eat some crabs. <laughs> Right to Eric, da 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 da, yay! There we go. Next one, next one, next one. Has Tashara stopped being mean? Never, never, never. Um, ooh, lover or reputation? Hmm. That's honestly a really good question. I love both of them a lot, but I'm gonna have to go with Reputation. Just because there's like so many bangers. <laughs> and also just like, I haven't really hit my lover arc yet, so I can't really like sympathize with too many of the songs. Um, but Reputation, it's just, it's a banger. I love that album so much. I was listening to it literally today with, with my mom in the car. <laughs> so I think final answer Reputation for sure. It's like it's just, it has like I did something bad. It has like delicate. It has dress. It has ready for it. Like it's just uh, hit after hit after hit. I love that album so much. Okay, two Vita. Never fear, Yoimi is here. Shara would never stop being mean. She was born April Fool's Day. Was she? I'm a bad friend. I do. Is that Shara's birthday for real? For real? 
Can you look that up real quick? Uh oh, I'm a bad friend. Um, let's see. I'm gonna request you at Edmonton. Thank you. That'd be so cool. I have sent a request. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Okay. Another one bites the dust. Meow. Here, wait, I'm gonna check something real quick, you guys. I'm making good time! Hey, look at that! I'm like, I think I had 30, and I'm like, uh, 13 now? So, okay. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Not too shabby, not too shabby shabby. Uh, I took my mom to that, uh, one of those sushi places, the conveyor belt sushi places, and she was very excited. <laughs> she was very impressed. She was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> okay. This one is going out to J. That's the first letter of my name. Yeah. Let's see. To Jay. Hey Jenny, loved your work with you and Mia. Keep up the good work. Thanks very much. It's very nice of you. Uh, please write Goldfish of Doom on the print. I can do that. Good night, fellow crab enjoyer. Okay. <laughs> Jenny, is your mom Japanese and your dad, or is your mom white? My mom is white. My dad was Japanese. Before any of you get smart with me and like, what do you mean he was Japanese? Is he something different now? No, he's dead. So there's your answer. I have a really dumb, dark sense of humor, so I'm really sorry if that was upsetting to anyone else. <laughs> sorry, you guys. Okay, dokey, okay, dokey, okay, dokey. Next one, next one. Where is Lizzy? There he is. I see, I see. Hi. Wah! Yeah. Dark humor go burr. Um, ooh, would you rather celebrate Halloween or Christmas, Jack Skellington? I love this question, but the answer is very clearly Halloween, because Halloween is my favorite holiday. It kicks ass. That's, I think that's the weirdest amount of, like, culture shock that I get when I go to other countries. Um, specifically anywhere in Europe, is that you guys don't celebrate Halloween. <laughs> and, like, I have, my, like, my friends in the Netherlands, they'll be like, I'm like, what's your favorite holiday? And they're like, oh, I don't know, probably Christmas. And they're like, what about you? And I'm like, Halloween. And they're like, what's Halloween? I don't get Halloween. That's a, that's a thing that only Americans do. And I didn't know that only Americans did Halloween. I didn't know that was like a specifically an American thing. Um, I know Japan is starting to embrace it a little bit more, but yeah, <laughs> it's mostly an American holiday apparently. And that's crazy to me. Um, Let's see. Hello, how's it going? It's going very well. Thanks. Um, met Chris Sarandon back in 2021. That's so cool! Jenny, what's your favorite music band? Ooh. Hmm. Honestly, probably the Gorillas. It's like, it's mostly just Damon, Al Damon Albarn doing his thing, but probably the Gorillas. Like, I really want to see the Gorillas in concert one day. Yeah. What'll be your costume for Halloween if you ever plan to wear one? I love dressing up on Halloween. I think it's so, so fun. This year, I think I'm going to be Bluey in her granny costume. I already have the glasses back there. You can kind of see them, like, right there. I already have the glasses, so I just need to make the little, like, blanket and then, like, do a little bit of face paint, which I think is going to be very cute. Um, so yeah, probably Bluey. And then I might do two costumes this year. 
costumes this year. I don't really have anywhere to go yet, but I just think it's kind of fun dressing up. So, I don't know. Yeah, so Bluey for sure, but maybe someone else too. I kind of want to like challenge myself and do like a more elaborate costume too. Honestly, it'd be very, very fun to dress up as the girl from the Planet of the Base music video. Um, but I feel like a lot of people are going to be doing that. But I still might do it anyways. Because <laughs> it looks like fun. Oh. I'm about to uh, look up some Diesel quotes real quick. Because they asked me to put my favorite Diesel quotes. And I don't know any off the top of my head. Because my brain is made of beans. Okay. Boop, boop, ba -doop. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I think? Yeah. When you come to the train station, strawberry candies are in me. Okie dokie. I'm actually kind of dressed as like a strawberry candy today with my pink shirt. To Justin. Yay! Another diesel print. So cute! So cute! I love these prints so much. They came out so cute. At first I was thinking like having a more involved background, but then the artist was like, I think the polka dots just would- I think just the polka dots would be nice because then you can sign on them. And I'm like, that's actually a great idea. And it came out so cute and I'm so glad I listened to her. Um, Jenny, I, I say your hair looks so good and silky. Thank you. It was really misbehaving earlier, but it seems to have, like, calmed down a little bit. What's my routine? Um, shampoo, conditioner. Um, I use this thing for, from, uh, Dry Bar called, like, oh, it's called, like, mirror water or something. And then I also use, like, I, I use a bunch of things from Dry Bar. Um, I would tell you, but I forget what they are. But um, one of them is like a finishing spray and it makes my hair less frizzy, which is really nice because sometimes I get a lot of flyaways and so it makes it so I don't have those. So that is always good when my problem is less. I know so many very good words. Aha! I got it. Jenny, you're so kind and sweet, and you just made my week. I love you so much. I wish you the best. Oh, you thank you, Baka. That's so nice of you. I don't know what I did. I'm just sitting here being an idiot. Where's your Mia cosplay? It's coming, okay? It's on its way. I'm working on it. I promise I didn't forget. I know I gotta do it still. I know. It's coming. It's gonna happen, okay, guys? How do you do Xiaomi's voice? Uh, let's see. How do I do Xiaomi's voice? I just kind of like, hers is a little bit more uh, placed in my like nasal area, and so I just kind of like, place her a little bit higher like that. Uh, do you have a life mantra? Um, actually, yes, it's this, uh, it's two quotes. One of them is very like cliche. It's, uh, life begins outside of your comfort zone, um, which I believe very wholeheartedly, because every time something really great has happened in my life, it was, uh, preceded by me feeling really, really scared first. Um, and my, the other quote that I like to think of often to myself is, um, it's like a quote from Tina Fey and it's, you can't be the kid at the top of the slide, just go, like, just go down the slide or something. Or it's like, it's essentially just sort of like, don't be, don't waste your time being scared. 
just go and do the thing and let yourself enjoy it. Um, let's see. What's the funniest voice line you record and keep crap cracking up whenever you say it? Goldfish of Doom is pretty close, because... I don't know. Goldfish of Doom is just very, like, absurdist and ridiculous, but it's so cute. I like it a lot. Um, you're such an engaging VA. You're my favorite VA of all time. Thank you so much, Lyndon. That's so sweet of you. I really appreciate that. Have you ever cosplayed slash dressed up as a character you voiced? Not yet, but I need to, because when I used to stream on Twitch, there was a reach goal of, like, a certain number of subs, and then I would cosplay Yoimiya, and they crushed it in, like, one night, and so I need to do it one of these days, and I'm really sorry I haven't done it yet. Are you able to buy a print now? Yes, you are. You're able to go um, to the link on the screen, streamly.com slash Jenny Okabori, and you can buy a print right now. Bing! Um, getting out of comfort is like getting to a deeper end of the pool. It's a little bit more dangerous, but a lot more fun, too. Exactly. I I agree with that. But also, like, don't, don't go to the deep end of the pool if you don't want to swim. I feel like I need to say that for, like, safety reasons. Um, do you listen to video game soundtracks? Absolutely, I do. Um, Genshin Impact is an amazing soundtrack. I really like um, any Legend of Zelda soundtrack. Um, sometimes I listen to Pokemon soundtracks to fall asleep, just like little chiptune versions. I f use those to fall asleep all the time. <laughs> it's very dorky. I also keep um, the physical copy of like the Fire Red and Leaf Green soundtrack in my car at all times. Um, in just in case and it's always in my cd player and so if i ever like i'm going through an area where there's bad service and i can't listen to the music off of my phone then i listen to the soundtrack to fire red and leaf green because <laughs> i'm a giant dork i am a giant freaking geek and that's just true about me okay this next one's to jonathan lozano So ta-da, you guys can't see it. <laughs> You're just seeing me stare down. Okay. Okay. Ta-da, here you go. Yay! Next one, next one, next one. How many more we got? We don't got that many more, especially since some of them I can't do because I am out of stock of those prints and I didn't realize and I'm really sorry about that. To anyone who ordered a print that I can't get to tonight, I feel really, really bad about it and I'm really sorry. I just see some days it is ta-da, you know what? So true, so true. Um, is there a Yoimiya themed merch that you wish you can get but isn't made? Um, yes, it's those little like uh, Genshin blind box figures that they have. They have like little chibi versions of the characters for each of the regions, and I really want them to make Inazuma characters, and I want them to make Yoimiya because that'd be very cool. Let's see. I just like this. I just like the quote. Some days it is ta-da. That's just that means a lot on multiple levels. You know, some days, some days it really is ta-da. Sometimes it do be like that. Well, again, here we go. Here we go. I'm back. What's your fave Pokemon region? Oh. Oh, I don't know. They're all my favorite. Um, I love Johto. I love Johto a lot. It's so pretty. And like, Crystal was my first ever Pokemon game, and so it has a very special place in my heart. Um. Plus, Horus is from, is from uh, Sea and Wood City, and that's in Johto, so that also is a very special place in my heart, too. Um, 
You know, the funny thing about Horus, I don't know if they did this on purpose, but Horus has silver hair and gold eyes, and he's from the Johto region, which is gold and silver, and crystal, of course, and so I don't know if they did that on purpose or not, but I always just thought that was really cute. Jenny, would you ever set up a Pickles cat cam? I would love to, but I don't think Pickles would love that, and so I, I don't think I will. There's a correct answer and you are wrong. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> Feels bad. I also, yeah, I like, I love Johto a lot and I also honestly kind of, kind of a controversial opinion, I think. This is apparently like a hot take. I also really like Kalos. I love X and Y. I think they're just really cute, really beautiful games and they're just really fun. <laughs> um, is really great too. Oh, <laughs> all of them are my favorite. I'm sorry, I can't decide. It's like choose, it's like picking between my children. My children that I don't have. <laughs> Here we go. Jenny, how often or when do you usually stream? I can't wait to watch your streams more. I'm kind of new here. I love you. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to try and stream more regularly. I haven't been streaming regularly, but it's something I'm going to try and make an effort to do because I do enjoy it whenever I get the time to do it. Whenever I get the time to do it. Oh, I need to write a number on the back! X and Y are underrated AF. I agree. Would you want po uh, Horus to go on Pokemon Journey through Hercules to meet the Robinsons or MCU? Meet the Robinsons. Because Meet the Robinsons is one of my favorite movies of all time. I have a little like plaque in my home that says keep moving forward and that that's that's another thing. That's another one of my like life mottos from a few questions ago is keep moving forward is another one of my favorite life mottos. That movie has helped me through a lot of really bad times. Favorite Pokemon from each generation? Always Snorlax. Snorlax is the answer. Snorlax is the only answer. I love Snorlax. I love other Pokemon too. Komala is another favorite of mine, but Snorlax is the ultimate good boy. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go again. Here we go again. I got it. I got it. What a smart girl I am. I met Zach Gordon recently and he signed my print saying, Zach Gordon died in REBA says eat your vegetables. <laughs> that makes sense. He's a little forest boy. <laughs> They're green. Yeah, let's see. Okay, um, I'll do a serious answer. Um, first generation, original 151, obviously Snorlax. Next generation is... Um, hmm... Maybe Espeon? Espeon's really cute. Um. Hmm, Johto. Justice for Shara Kirby? No, not Justice for Shara Kirby! No! Actually, no, okay. First generation. Um. First generation, Snorlax, obviously. Second generation, I th think Cyndaquil, because he was my first starter. So I think, like, he has a really special place in my heart. I love him very much. Um, third generation. Hmm. Let me see here. Huh. Maybe Absol? Absol's really, really cool. I think, like, I like the whole, like, kind of, it's kind of like a cryptid thing. Like, it shows up moments before, like, tragedy, and they think it's, like, kind of, like, foreboding, kind of like the way Mothman is. Um, let's see, um, fourth generation, that's Diamond and Pearl, that's Sinnoh, um, mm, Munchlax, I believe Munchlax, I believe Munchlax is fourth generation, because that's when they added a bunch of babies, <laughs> they added a bunch of babies, fifth generation is black and white, um, Ooh. 
There's a lot of really cute ones there, too. Hmm. Is Mana black and white? I can't... I'm looking it up, because I feel like Mana might be black and white. It is. What a clever girl. Yeah, Mana. Mana is my favorite in Generation 5. Generation 6 was Sun and Moon. Yes, yes, yeah, Sun and Moon. Um, Kamala is my favorite. Um, let's see. Ooh, actually, you know what? Generation 3, I'm going back. I think Generation 3, my favorite is Slack Off. <laughs> He's so cute. I, I really like sleepy Pokemon. <laughs> Um, if you want cute, there's also Oshawa. True, but Mana is sleep-themed, and she's pink, and she has flowers all over her, so it feels like that Pokemon was specifically designed for me. Sun and Moon, and Moon is Gen 7. What's Gen 6? Oh, X and Y, of course, duh, okay. Um, X and Y, um, Gudra. Gudra is my favorite from X and Y. I love Gudra. He's so cute and it's just big, shaped like a friend. I love Gudra so much and like, just so good. Just so good. Um, Sun and Moon. Yeah, so Sun and Moon is a generation seven. Komala, but a very, very close second, possibly tied for first is uh, Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu. Gen, let's see, yeah, Gen seven, Gen eight, Sword and Shield. I am very biased. <laughs> My favorite in Sword Shield is um, probably Hatrum and like Hatena and Hatterene. And it's like, listen, is it because I voice them in the anime? A little bit. Yes. But also they're really cute and they're really cool Pokemon. Uh, Galarian Ponyta is really cute too, but I think Hatrum is my favorite in... Um, Oh my gosh. Uh, generation, yeah, in Sword and Shield. And then the latest generation, Palde Paldea, is Tinkaton. <laughs> I love Tinkaton. <laughs> She's so funny. Okay, this one's going out to David. So, yeah, so <laughs> Tinkaton is a gremlin. I love her so much. <laughs> um, so, yeah, in order Snorlax, Cyndaquil, Slackoth, um, Munchlax, Generation 5, Diamond and Pearl. That was, yeah, that's, that's Munchlax. Um, then it's Black and White. Um, Mana, Generation 6, X and Y. Um, Gudra. Close second is Pancham, though. I love Pancham. Pancham's really, really cute. Um, and then it's Komala slash Mimikyu. And then Hatram. Or really just, like, the entire Hatena evolutionary line. And then the last one is Tinkaton. <laughs> um, I need to head out because it's midnight for me and art school needs to kick my booty. But have a good night and I will report when I finish the Among Us animation. Alright, bye! Thank you for stopping by! CP. My favorite are Gudra and Delphox. Delphox is also really great. Delphox was my starter in that game. Who are some of your guys' favorite Pokemon? I want to hear from hear from the chat. Tell me, you guys. Tell me your secrets. Alright, there we go. Another one done. Another one done. Da 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 da.
I don't know why I sang that theme song just now. Jenny, just go to Japan and see Mewtwo. I am going to Japan. I'm going to Japan in November and I'm very excited. I'm not gonna see you too. I'm gonna see Snorlax stuff. Get real. Come on. Would you spend one hour killing Candace over and over again to spite Char? No, I have things to do. I'm, if I have if I have an extra hour, I'm gonna play Baldur's Gate three and continue romancing a Starian, my vampire husband. Please get to know me better. My goodness gracious. Go lurk an Orbital. Good, good picks. Evie Kyogre. Um, Torchic and Komala, Charizard, Articuno. Ooh, these are all really good picks, you guys. I resonate with Komala the most since I have a hug pillow to sleep with. I also resonate with Komala because I have narcolepsy, so I also have to sleep for a long time. And I also have a big hug, hug pillow that I have to sleep with, so I'm just like a little, it's my little log. I, I look ridiculous. Also, yeah, oh, I love Drampa too. Oh, Drampa, Drampa is like kind of tied for, it's, it's a three-way tie between... Komala, Mimikyu, and Drampa, because I love Drampa because he's such a little gremlin child. I love Drampa because he's just like this cute little dragon, but his Pokédex entry is so unhinged. It's wonderful because it's just like, <laughs> Drampa, it befriends local village children, but if the village children are bullied, they will burn the bully's house down. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> It just is so out of pocket. And I'm just like, I love Drampy. He's just a little guy. He's so cute. But he has these urges. He has a violence inside of him that I both fear and also respect. I love Drampa so much. By all the Snorlax stuff, I'm well on my way to completing that mission, actually. I had to hold myself back from buying a $100 Snorlax Squishmallow today in Little Tokyo because it was huge and I wanted it so badly that I was like, no, 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 do not buy that thing. You are, you are on strike and you need to conserve your money and spend it for adult responsibilities. But then the devil on my shoulder was like, but big friend go squeeze. And I'm like, no, don't do this thing. Don't do this thing. You need to control yourself. You're an adult sometimes. All right. This one's going out to Krista. Okay. Hi, please add fireworks or for now, but friends are forever as a quote. I can do that. I can do that. Drampa sounds based. <laughs> Parentheses. Arson. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm just like, Drampa has hands down one of the fun funniest, most out-of-pocket Pokedex entries in the entire in the entire series. <laughs> just Drampa likes to befriend local village children, but if they're bullied, he will burn the boy's house to the ground. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love Drampa. I feel like he'd just be like, he's a real ride or die kind of guy. <laughs> Drampa's a little bit yandere now that I think about it. Jenny, you better own a Snorlax onesie. I own two Snorlax onesies. Who do you think I am? What do you take me for? A chump? Please. Get real. Uh, please. What a kind Pokemon. <laughs> he is. He's trying his best. And just like, Drampa just loves people so much that he would like do anything for them, even a little bit of crime. And I'm like, I'd be like, Drampa, I love you so much. You don't need to burn that person's house down for me. We can just be friends and we can just like go get like a snow cone or something together. You don't need to commit a like, class A felony. <laughs> it's really okay, friend. And he's also just really cute. Like he's one of the like coolest designs, in my opinion, of any of the Pokemon games. Very cute. Fireworks are for now. True. But you know, those friends. Those friends, they're forever. I'm on like hour two of streaming, and so now I'm starting to get a little bit loopy. A little bit loopy. So things are gonna get very fun. Get excited, everybody. You guys, tell me your favorite place in the world. Enlighten me. I want to know your secrets, chat. Reveal your secrets to me. 
but nothing like you committed a crime because I don't want any part of that. But if tell me what where you like to go on vacation. I want to know more about you guys. Okay, cool. Tramp is clean Pokemon for me. <laughs> oh, I think you're kind of right, actually. That kind of makes sense now why I like Drampa so much. Oh, Drampa. He's a good boy. He's just, he, he has like his little grandpa beard and his mustache. I love him so much. He's so cute. Ooh, ooh, we're getting down to the last few prints. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Croatia. Oh, I really want to visit Croatia one day. I'm trying to get out there soon. I, I just want to get back to Europe soon in general. Pokemon is doing a collaboration with the Van Gogh Museum, which <laughs> my friend texted me and she was just sort of like, they're doing this specifically for you because as someone who is obsessed with Pokemon and obsessed with the Netherlands and obsessed with Van Gogh, I'm like, it's just like that like uh, image from Junji Ito, just like, this hole is made for me. I'm like, that's for me. And so I'm hoping to plan another trip to the Netherlands relatively soon so I can see the Pokemon stuff that they have going on there at the Van Gogh Museum. That would be very cool. And also I have some friends that I miss very much in the Netherlands that I want to go see again. I would just drive up to my brother in Dallas most of the time. I have a lot of friends up there. I, I want to visit Dallas soon, too, because I also have some friends up there that I miss very, very much so. And I don't always get to see my Dallas friends when I go to conventions, and that's very sad because I like them and they're my friends. Okay. Let's see. Okay. This one I can sign. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Jenny Yokobori. America's sweetheart. I don't know how it is decided who America's sweetheart is. Is that something that I can just declare? Is that something that I can just kind of get started, like start my, starting my own campaign to become America's sweetheart? I don't know how the politics of that work. I'm just gonna start. Referring to myself as America's sweetheart until it becomes true. Because <laughs> I don't know how it works, you guys. I met Sheremy Lee at a con in Dallas, and oh, I love, I love Sheremy. She's so sweet. Ugh, she's an angel. I adore Sheremy Lee. She's so talented and so sweet and so pretty. I'm just like, ah, Sheremy, save some of the rest of us, please, girl. Come on. All right, this one is going out to Will. Here come the fireworks. Cool beans. I still got the big sizes of those ones. I just don't got the small ones anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyone who got the smaller size, those are coming in soon. I promise you, I'm sorry. Oh, we got another one for Will. Okay. This is gonna be the last print of the night here, gang. Unless anyone wants to buy any more prints. Keep this party going. Hi, I'm still here. Don't worry. Don't be too scared. Don't be scared. I'm still here, okay? Don't be scared. I'm gonna be back. You don't need to cry. I found it. Great job, Jenny. How are you enjoying the Muppet profile picture? 
I feel like the internet can truly perceive me as I really am now that I have my Muppet profile picture, which is as animal. <laughs> animal! Animal! <laughs> I hope there's like some guy on the internet who like has a crush on me and he's just sort of like, man. I want to go to Jenny's like profile today, see what she's up to, and just see some animal dresses doing me, and he's like, man, maybe never mind, actually. <laughs> like, let's see what kind of cool picture Jenny's posted recently, and he like, sees that, and he's like, oh. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> maybe he'll like me even more, then. Who knows? I don't, I don't know, you guys. I don't know how these things work. There we go. That's the last one for tonight. Oh, thank you for the subscription. Um, I'm gonna guess that's Mega Man Adam Five. I think that's how it's probably gonna be pronounced. There's not a lot of vowels in there, so I'm trying my best. Okay, we did it. Hooray! <laughs> Wait, Jenny, did you know that Yoimi has a younger brother? Wait, what? Does she? Is that canon? Oh, that monster slash Yoimiya picture is amazing. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, animal. Animal from the Muppets. Yes, I'm like, monster? I really want to meet some of the Sumeru VAs, especially Alejandro, because I get the absolute best vibes from him. You are correct. Um, Alejandro has incredible vibes. I love him very much. He's like a brother to me. Buy all the prints. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I feel like anyone that has more than the most surface level crush looks at that and goes, yeah, that tracks. That's very fair, Brandon. That's very fair, actually. I made it up, but... <laughs> so it's not. So, he, so she doesn't have a younger brother. Okay, I was gonna be like, how do I not know this? Like, wait a second here. I feel like I should know this if that's true. Um, yeah, so that is all the prints for today. I'm going to be doing another signing probably on Wednesday because I have more prints coming in for those prints that I couldn't get to today, which I feel really bad about. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, that's all of them for today, unless anyone buys a print within the next like few minutes. Um, does anyone want a print? I don't want to buy one. Does anyone want to buy a print? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I've been streaming for about two hours now. How long have I been streaming? Streaming, striving, stupid, super, 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 Uh, YouTube, tell me please. Or stream, stream lab, tell me please. I can't find where if there's a little counter or not. Well, I've been streaming for a, an amount of time. For an amount. So that's good. Um, I would get 10, but I'm broke. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Please do not gaslight her. She is tired and losing her energy. <laughs> Not my Jennergy. <laughs> can we please keep this bit up? Like, can we keep referring to it as my Jennergy? That'd be great, you guys. <laughs> please keep this. Look, please keep this term alive. <laughs> oh, it's just an honor to be in any way like related to Ken. <laughs> That's very funny. 
Um, F's in chat. Thanks for tonight's stream, Jenny. Take it easy. At least two and three quarter hours. Yeah, something like that right now. Yeah. If you started at 6.30, I started at 7 because I need to drop my mum off at the airport. Jennergy. <laughs> big, big Jennergy. <laughs> um, okay. In that case, I think that's it, gang. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, if you guys do still want to get a print, you can get one until Wednesday because I'm going to keep my shop open until then. Um, that's it. That's it, gang. Okay, I gotta go. Bye bye. I haven't figured out an outro yet. Yeah, goodbye. Good, good, goodbye.